Hello there, it's Andy. Today I'm going to be running through four different ways that you can use to recover files from a recycle bin on your Windows computer. And also real quick before we get started, if you guys have any questions about recovering files or anything else that you want us to cover in the future, be sure to let us know down below in the comments section. But now to get started, first of all, we really need to understand a little bit about what happens to files when they get deleted. So when you delete a file, it gets moved to the recycle bin, at which point it will be further dealt with by the computer later on down the road. And so naturally, the first place that we should check should be the recycle bin. So let's do that. So go ahead and open recycle bin by double clicking on its icon on the desktop. Then locate and select whichever file or folders that you need to restore. And if you find it, go ahead and right click or double click on the selection and choose restore. And what you'll find is that the recycle bin will then restore the deleted files to their original locations. So that step is easy enough, right? Just check the recycle bin. That's always step one. But let's move on to something a little more technical. And I want to talk about Windows backups for a second, something that's extremely effective against accidental deletions or corruptions or formatting or anything like that. Windows backups. Are amazing. So to restore from a Windows backup, make sure that the media or drive that your backup is saved on is available. So obviously if you have stored your backup on an external hard drive or an external SSD or something like that, make sure that that's plugged into your computer, obviously. And then go ahead and follow these steps. Starting with opening backup and restore by selecting your start menu, navigating to your control panel, and under system and security, select backup and restore. Next, select Restore My Files, and then simply follow the steps in the wizard. Okay, so now this next method, number three, is one that's very similar to the last one, but this actually uses a proprietary Windows software feature called File History. So this feature is built more into recent versions of Windows, but essentially what it is is it allows you to specify which directories you want Windows to back up. It's sort of like Time Machine except for Windows. So provided that you activated file history on your drive before the files were deleted, then getting them back really should be a piece of cake. So go ahead and open the folder that used to contain the deleted file and click the history button. Then file history will display all the files contained in the most recent backup of that folder. Then go ahead and click the previous button to locate and select the file that you want to retrieve and click the restore button to get it back. Cool. So those are the first three things you should try. You should try and look in your recycle bin, restore from a Windows backup, and use the file history software feature that's built into Windows. But let's say that all of that doesn't work. Well, then you need to move on to step four, which is using a proprietary, very powerful software that's built for file recovery in order to recover your files. And of course, we're gonna be using disk drill. So remember earlier when I said that we need to understand how files get deleted and what happens to them? Well, one more thing that we need to understand is that when you delete a file, it's still physically there on the drive. It's just logically inaccessible to you and me and also invisible. And that file is simply marked on the computer as available space saying, hey, the space right here, it's available. So what this means is that as long as the files have not been overwritten, they're still physically present on the drive, which is great news for us because that means that if we act quickly, we can get the files back using a powerful enough software that actually searches and uses the proper algorithms to get the files back and piece them back together. Now, as I've said before, I'll say it again, I recommend Disk Drill for this. It's extremely powerful. It's an entire software suite that not only has data recovery tools, but also data backup and drive protection tools built into it. So once you're done recovering your files, you can then protect your drive all in one. It's, it's awesome. And the good news is that you can recover up to 500 megabytes of files for free using Disk Drill, which is amazing. That's plenty for things like Word documents, music, and even a handful of photos. So if you've just emptied your recycle bin and you're freaking out, follow these steps. So step one, head down to the description of this video to download and install Disk Drill. Now, again, we have to imply what we've learned here because, as we know, these deleted files are ripe for being overwritten. And if you download and install Disk Drill on your C drive, which is also the drive that your recycle bin is sitting on, there's a good chance that those files, the, the massive amount of Disk Drill files, will actually overwrite and ruin all of your deleted files. So what we recommend that you do is you download and install Disk Drill on an external drive, like a flash drive or something like that, that will give you the best, highest probability for recovering your files 
without the chance of them being overwritten by the recovery software itself. So once you've downloaded and installed Disk Drill, go ahead and launch it. So with the advent of Disk Drill 4, we've completely streamlined the entire UI just for your convenience and ease of use. So in the center here, we have what we call the disk list, which is where all of the physical drives are. You can see I have my C drive, uh, which is my SSD along with a few others. And then on the left here, we have the different panels being data recovery along with the data protection and drive backup panels. And then finally on the right is where we can actually choose the type of scan that we want to do as well as initiate the scan itself. Step three, from the disk list, go ahead and select the drive that contains your recycle bin. So for most, this is going to be your C drive. Step four, make sure that all recovery methods is selected, then click search for lost data. And this will begin Disk Drill's advanced recovery algorithms that will search for all recoverable files on the drive. Step five, once the scan is completed, you can view the items that have been found in the center file structure here or in the categorical organization tab on the left here. It really just depends on what you want. So let's say you're looking for some audio files, for example, like some MP3s. You could just go over to the left and select audio, which will sort all of the found files by only files that are classified as audio files. So it'll be a lot easier for you to sort through the massive amount of items that have been found if you're just looking for one specific kind of file. So that's a little pro tip right there. Now, another thing that's important to mention here is once you find a file, to ensure it's actually recoverable, it must be viewable via the preview option by clicking this eye icon right here. Now the reason why this is important is because a lot of people will just go and try to recover as many files as possible and even though a file may appear in disk drill that doesn't mean it's 100% intact. So to ensure that it is intact, previewing it is pretty much essential. So if you can preview the file this way, then you're good to go. Finally, step six, after you find the files that you wanna recover, just put a check mark next to them, head down to recover, and one other last thing that's very important for you to consider is your save location. So it would be best for you to choose a location other than your C drive as seen by this warning here. So this will prevent you from overwriting the files and give you the best chance of a full recovery. So I'm going to go ahead and select a flash drive that I've plugged into my computer. But this will work with any sort of external memory like a hard drive or an SD card so long as you're not trying to save the files to the same drive that you're trying to recover from. That's the important part. And then click OK. Then once the process is complete, you should see a folder pop up in your save location that contains the files that you chose to recover. And that's it. Those are four amazing ways, very powerful ways to recover files from a recycle bin on a Windows computer. As I said in the beginning of the video, if you guys have any questions, comments, or things you want us to cover in a future video, be sure to let us know down below in the comments section below. My name is Andy, and I'll see you next time.